we don't actually warn for thunderstorms for lightning. That's one thing that we don't do because every thunderstorm brings lightning. That's the very nature of the beast. But we do have criteria for what we call severe thunderstorms. And if we have those exceeded, which is 90 kilometer an hour winds, flash flooding or hail in excess of two centimeters in diameter, we will warn for that as well. Our assets are a, uh, a magnet, if you will, for lightning strikes. Lightning has the potential to strike um, conductors, uh, pole top switches, transformers, etc. Earlier this year, we did see some fairly unusual activity through the Perth metropolitan area with a number of days with a large number of thunderstorms producing a lot of lightning. Some of those storms didn't meet the severe storm category, so we didn't actually push a warning out. But we were talking with Western Power to inform them that there were going to be a number of lightning strikes around. We were also in constant contact with the Department of Fire and Emergency Services as well. So we do have these methods of communication with the agencies to spread the message out to the community. Every thunderstorm has the potential to create some problems and some hazards and it's really important that people take notice of that. So if we have thunderstorms in the forecast, they should be aware there's a potential for some damaging uh, conditions occurring.